How's it going everyone? Today I wanted to do a real quick appraisal of the Neo Genesis promo cards that came out in 1999 when Neo Genesis was first released. Recently I was looking at these cards on eBay and I saw someone try to sell the Cyndaquil Quilava Typhlosion line for something like $675. Absolutely not worth that. Uh, do not buy it for that much. So I just wanted to make a quick video of this. No, okay. no, that can't be in the video. Okay. Put the <laughs> oh gosh. Um. So this, and I want to note this. I got these cards from my buddy. Um, he's had them for about twenty years. They're in great condition. I mean, you can see them here. They've probably been in this folder for their entire lives. But even the packets in completely perfect condition only sell for about $100 on eBay. And I'm going to tell you why in a little bit. Uh, this one in particular is probably worth in the realm of 50 to 75 It's actually missing a foil cover that usually goes in between the cards and the, um, the outer layer. But taking a look at Chikorita here, at first glance, the cards look completely normal. You see that they have the classic um, double star here that you'd see on all Neo Genesis cards. But the interesting piece is that they do not have the rarity in the bottom right corner. This is pretty traditional for the Japanese cards that came out in the late 90s, 90s as part of promos or gym decks. It's basically just an identifier that says this was not pulled in a booster pack, so it's not worth as much. It's not as rare. There's a lot of these cards out there. And that helps the collector not to overpay for a card that is not as rare. Because of that reduced rarity, it's important that when you're looking at these cards on PSA, you look at those denoted as premium file. That is this special promo pack. That's how they denote that these cards are not actually from the booster packs. The cards are still really cool. Especially this Typhlosion card here, where that uh, that damage move is called, where are my notes, my dumb notes, my two pages of notes that I took on this before this video, looking like a buffoon. Flame Burst. The move is Flame Burst. I do not read Japanese. Um, and the damage is actually wrong on this. It says 80, but in reality, this should be 60 plus, and this was later corrected. Unfortunately, and this really surprised me, that didn't really increase the value of Typhlosion that much. When you look at it, it is technically the most worthwhile, most expensive card from this set. But at the end of the day, a PSA 9 only goes for about $70. Now I looked at the valuations of all these cards and I want to take you through them now. Starting with Chikorita. Uh, and the PSA, I tried to use 7 through 9. It had to be a little bit different because not all of these cards were sold in all of the different grades on PSA, so they didn't have data for it. But PSA 8 Chikorita last sold for $35. And the important thing to note with PSA is that right now, it's actually something like $200 to grade even your most, um, your most cheap cards. Usually it's about 20 and that's not counting delivery fees to actually send the cards in, but it's super expensive right now as of June 2021 due to all of the high volume of card openings on YouTube and people grading their cards for the for pretty much the first time in 20 years. But moving on, Bayleaf, 
I got uh, the PSA 9 value as $30. Meganium PSA 7 and 9 were pretty similar, about $50 to $60. Cyndaquil PSA 9 was $26. Same with Coolava, also $26. Typhlosion PSA 7 was $36, but PSA 9 actually got all the way up to $70. Totodile PSA 9, the most recent was 87, but that was the only one that was sold in 2021. I think that that's likely unrealistic. Maybe the fact that only one was sold shows some increased rarity here, but at best, I would say you'd expect maybe $40, just above what you'd get for Chikorita or Cyndaquil, unless a lot of these cards start getting sold, and then you're going to see that price drop back down to probably those other two starters, that, that level as well. Croconaw is $32 for PSA 9, and for Alligator is $42 for PSA 9. You total that all up for all the cards, and it gets to $332, but the problem is when you take into consideration $20 bucks per grade at the lowest level if PSA 9 is not experiencing high volume, that's $180 just to value them. Maybe another 45 to send all these cards in. Make sure you're packaging them in a safe way. And that brings the value of the cards back down to $100 if you were to not grade them. So that's really why you're seeing these ungraded binders going for about um, $100 on eBay. At the end of the day, it's really cheaper to do that than to risk going through PSA, potentially getting a lower grade, not being able to sell them that way. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Just a short one trying to educate a little bit on this, um, making sure that no one's getting ripped off on eBay. Just because for the most part, you're seeing the prices accurately, but just always make sure that you're looking out for what you're buying here. For these cards, if there's no rarity in the bottom right corner, they're most likely these promo cards. So do not overpay for them. Anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting, entertaining, um, boring, whatever, I, uh, <laughs> doesn't really matter, but just don't get ripped off. And at the end of the day, enjoy Pokemon card collecting. I recently got back into this after 15 years of not touching the things and I've really enjoyed it so far. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.